name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share a Valentine card that mixes it up using things from the annual catalog as well as our Occasions 2017 catalog. This is the card we're going to make and I know you've seen me use this before but I'm going to use it again because I'm just so in love with this Scent with Love designer series paper that you can actually um, cut out with our regular sweet and sassy framelits to create this just darling little heart that you can accent with all your cards. You'll notice also that I am using the Happy Heart embossing folder on this card. And then, yes, they're back, the Stitch Framelits I can finally share again. They were on back order for quite a while, but now Stampin' Up! has them back in. These are um, framelits you won't find in any of our catalogs, but they are available to order. Stampin' Up! introduced them on December 1st for customers to order. They'll be in the new 2017-18 annual catalog, but we can have them early, so that's exciting. This is the stamp set we're using called Sealed with Love. You can purchase it as a bundle with the love note framelits, and you know I just love these little arrows. And then of course this has an adorable border um, framelit that's wonderful. I am not using the love note framelits on this particular card, but if you do purchase it with your stamp set, you'll save 10% on both. And I just, I guess I just recommend that. Even if it carries over into the new catalog, you won't be able to get it as a bundle unless you're purchasing it now during the catalog period that it debuted. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this Sending Love Designer Series paper. It's a six by six paper pack that's in the Occasions catalog. And it has sort of a red side, and then if you flip it around, it has um, kind of a white side. And I love it. I've used several of these patterns already for the cards that I'm doing. And this is the one that I think I love the most. I just love this because you can take your hearts framelits. This is a sweet and sassy hearts framelits. And the third largest heart will cut this pattern out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to need is our base paper. This will make the base of our card. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. I'm going to go ahead and fold it along the score line. I'm going to use my bone folder, give that a good press so that it will lie flat for us while we work with it. The next thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and stamp the inside. So to do that, I'm going to bring my Stampin' Mat into the picture. This is our Stampin' Pierce Mat from Stampin' Up. It's great for piercing. I like to have two mats, one that I label for piercing and one that I label for stamping. I'm going to ink up Happy Valentine's Day with real red ink and just stamp this right here. And then I want to decorate the bottom with some little hearts. So I'm just going to stamp those here. So I'm stamping in the middle first, and then I go to the right edge. I'm not worried about overlapping because these hearts sort of look overlapped anyway. And then I'll stamp on the left edge. And there it is, our inside is already decorated. So let's set this aside and now work on some of these cutouts that we need to do. I think we'll focus on our squares first. I use the squares framelits from Stampin' Up! These are the layering squares. They come with scallops and straight edges. And I am using the largest straight edge square to create the white background. And what I love about this is that when you cut it at three and a half by three and a half, you have another layer here that you could use on a card. So I'm going to set this aside and maybe I'll use that in the future. But here's the square that we're going to be um, building our other square on, as well as our heart and doing some stamping on. Then we are going to get the stitched shaped framelits. And again, as I mentioned, these are now available to order from Stampin' Up. In fact, I'll just give you the number here because I know many of you have been waiting for this. It is number 145372 in, uh, on the Stampin' Up! online ordering store and it's called Stitch Shape Framelits. It's a set of 12. You get ovals, circles, and squares. So we're going to use the third and fourth largest squares. We're layering them together. I just have them on a piece of scrap crumb cake here. And when you layer them together and run them through the Big Shot machine, again, you have another little outside piece that you can uh, use on another card down the road. Then you have this piece that we're going to be using. It's an outline square. And you can see it has the little stitching on it. It looks so cute. I just love it. 
And then here's another piece that I use to create that outline shape, and it is also stitched, so I can set this aside and use that on another card down the road. So we are just using this particular piece right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue this right onto this white square. So I'm using some multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm just putting a little bit down here. You don't need too much. It will stick very well without a lot of glue. So we can just set this in here. One thing I love about glue is it gives you just the tiniest bit of wiggle room. So we're gonna wiggle this right into place so it's nice and even all the way around. And then I think we'll bring our Stampin' Mat back into the picture here and we'll just do that little bit of stamping that we need to. So again, I'm using Real Red ink and we're going to put the sentiment called Scent with Love and just make sure that that is stamping right side up. We're gonna stamp this in the lower right corner, and there it is. So cute, I just love it. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that heart right here. So I went ahead, I ran that through the Big Shot machine again, and I've been using the same layer for this and the other set of layers. I'm just, I start with my magnetic plate, I put a cut plate down, my paper, whatever framelit I'm using over the top of my paper, again the third largest straight edge heart from the Sweet and Sassy Hearts, and then just a cut plate over the top. And so I can pull this out, and this is what we will layer right here onto this square. We're going to use some dimensionals. And as you can see, I did use three dimensionals. When you're working with text weight paper, you want to have a few more dimensionals on it just to keep it nice and sturdy. We're going to center this in, and that looks good, so give it a good press. And now we're ready to go ahead and get our embossed panel ready. We are going to use a panel of Real Red. This is four by five and one fourth. And I did go ahead and I ran this through the Big Shot machine so that you can see what this looks like. Again, we use the Happy Hearts embossing folder. And here it is, all embossed. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to put this on with dimensionals. I use five dimensionals and we're just going to flip this around and set this in here just so it's about, oh, about the same amount of border on all three sides, maybe a little bit more border at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and layer this onto the front of our card panel. So let me get some multi-purpose liquid glue and we will just put a nice square of glue all the way around on this panel and we're just going to set this in wiggle it into place so all four borders are nice and even. And then we're going to add the finishing touch. We're going to add some basic jewels. These are the rhinestone jewels from Stampin' Up! They come in a pack like this. You get 50 of three different sizes of basic rhinestones along with three ropes that you can use to embellish your cards. So I have one open here. So we are going to just, instead of using a ribbon or something like that on this card, we're just going to add a little basic rhinestone to each of these hearts right about where we would put a ribbon. So I'm just going to pull these away with my paper piercer and set them right there at the tip of each of the hearts right here. And our card is complete. Isn't it great? I just love it. Here's a nice close look for you so you can see how those rhinestones accentuate this card. So here's the card I had just done. Here's the card I did in advance. Thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. If you're interested in placing a Stampin' Up! order, please be aware that it's celebration time, so for every $50 increment on your product order from me, you will receive a free stamp set from our Celebration Rewards catalog. You can find all these details and more at my blog, which is www.stampingtoshare.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.